go fishing. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. So here's what we got going on. Upgrading to this tackle box. We are going to take these three tackle boxes and centralize them into this new tackle box right here. So here we are, we got it all centralized into our brand new tackle box. Uh, first off, got a little strap, hard tray on top. That'll come in handy. Uh, this is what happens when you divide all your stuff amongst different tackle boxes. There's so much line, old line, different line. And then we got all these. We filled up four out of five boxes, so we got some room to grow. And then our baits. One more. This is another that's just for jigs, ice jigs, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully, get to take this out for a test spin real soon. So just stop by Bass Pro Shop, uh, get some worms, and I got a little sucker meat, and that sucker meat stinks. I hope I at least land a catfish on that. Um, as usual, stopping at the sports shop, waste time, waste money, but I'm trying to get back out there. This overcast broke, and it is raining here and there, snowing here and there. Um, I don't know. Um, it'll be an adventure anyway. Uh, we made it to Layton. Uh, traffic sucks. Traffic sucks going to Ogden. It is 6:20, and it is stop and go. It's gonna be forever before I get there. It's probably gonna be dark. Everything's falling apart. All right, we finally made it. It's a little past seven o'clock, and we are up here, uh, Wiper Cove, I guess. Um, so they're calling this end of the North Marina Wiper Cove. Uh, we'd hope we'd see some wipers up in here. I don't know. Uh, we'll start here. We don't see any action. We might go check out the fishing dock again. Hit the beach on the other side of the marina. And we're still skunked at that point. I think we'll go down to Pelican Beach. Check it out. Uh, so we sat down at the north end of Wipe Co for about a half hour. Didn't see any action. Um, it's a lot colder than the last time. My fingertips are frozen. I'm warming up in the car for a minute. Then we're going to hit the south end of Wiper Cove uh, for a little bit. And we're just going to keep spot hopping until we see some kind of action. Um, so yeah, check it out. Alright, so we're over at the south end now. I was going to go two poles, but with as cold as it is and starting to get dark. Uh, I think I'm gonna go one pole. And we tried the sucker over there, which stinks. I hope it's not falling out of this bag. Uh, we're gonna try these baby shad over here. I don't know. Uh, I did see some fish rolling over here. Is that a good sign? Is that a dumb sign? We're not great fishermen, we're not technical fishermen, just a gorilla fisherman. Rod, reel, line, sinker, bait, let's get something in the water. Yeah, 
There we are. Here we are. There's a bobber. It's out there somewhere. Uh, I'm not really picking it up. Uh, still nothing happening. Pretty awesome. I'm not gonna put this out if I got another skunk video. People get sick of watching me get skunked. But let's try to get this. Clouds broke through. Uh, it's still sundown. Still cold. There's still no fish. Um, got a little baby shad on there right now. Figure they'd like it. That's the feeder fish in this reservoir. You can use the commercial baby shad, but don't get caught with something out of this reservoir. You get in trouble. All right. Bobber out there, out of focus. There we go. Um, gave it about 30 minutes in this spot. Um, seen some fish movement in the water, but nothing biting. Uh, left the lantern up in the car, so uh, it's a good time to move spots. Unless something's just gonna slam that right out of the water real quick, but that's probably not gonna happen. If I get skunked again, this is not gonna make it to YouTube. Back over to the fishing dock. Uh, it's just after 8.30. Um, taking a chance to warm up here real quick, and then I think I'm gonna try the night crawler here. Um, who knows? I'm not real hopeful at this point of seeing any fish, so I don't know. We still have some hope, or we would have just went home. But, uh, got up here late. That traffic killed me. Dang it! Went down there, first cast. Uh, got a rat nest of line come out of my reel. Uh, uh, calling it, calling it right now. Calling it right now. There, like, this ain't gonna be a whole video. Like, I might just show this at the beginning of the next video. Fuck. Willard Bay, Willard Bay, Willard, Willard Bane of my existence. We're gonna get a good fishing trip here at some point. So I have a hard time letting things go. So I came down here to South Marina real quick. Just gonna throw on one of those shad, walk down by that dock, and chuck it out there. See what happens. Probably nothing, but I don't know. Skunked, skunked. Skunk, skunked, 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 and it's cold as hell. Car say, uh, it's one degree above freezing. 33 degrees. I did not dress for it. Uh, the last trip, it was so warm. I just, <sighs> I thought it was springtime, not freezing. Here's the situation. I mentioned something about catching tilapia at Blue Lakes to my buddy. Like one day we would go out, spend the night in Windover, and then cruise down to Blue Lake from Windover and try to catch some tilapia. Uh, my buddy said, let's do it tonight. And he's very convincing. So here we go. So here we are, out in Windover, Montego Bay. Uh, just ate dinner, gambling a little bit. Um, tomorrow morning we'll be down to Blue Lakes. See if we can't find some of those tilapia down there. Just up here, and I hit a little jackpot, and I am now up. 280-ish dollars. We'll see if it holds through the night. So here we are. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning. Uh, we just had a condiment packet fight. 
and my buddy blew his vaporizer into the smoke alarm and it went off. <laughs> spanky, hands off spanky. <laughs> so, um, uh, consensus is these beds suck and we're gonna get some breakfast and then head out to Blue Lake. And according to, according to the Utah fishing guide, it says any tilapia and paku that are caught need to be killed immediately. I was I knew the tilapia were out there. The paku is surprising. I don't know what we're gonna run out run into out there really. So here we go on another adventure. Look at Trainer go. Just hit a big one on a penny slot over here. Boom 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 boom. Oh yeah. Get still hunter. Seventy four sixty. I got a hundred bucks even. Hundred dollars even. What did you put in there? Twenty. So eighty bucks all day. Driving down this fucking road. Here we are walking on the scuba dock out here to Blue Lakes to see what the situation is. First fish of the day out here. Got a little, a little bass. Skunked. Try to turn that around. Get a better shot of it. Fish number two. Took a long time. All right. So that was a journey. An unexpected journey. Uh, my buddy always talks me into crazy stuff. So, went to Willard, skunked again, skunked again, not giving up. Gonna get back up to Willard, gonna pull a fish out of there at some point. I don't know when, but at some point, uh, went out. Done kind of good in Windover for me. Uh, my buddy recou recouped a, some of his loss uh, right there at the very end. And then we went out to Blue Lakes. Uh, not a place we're familiar with. Not fish we're familiar with. Other than uh, we do have some experience with these little desert ponds in the bass. Uh, it's real frustrating. Uh, I didn't get a lot of video out there uh as soon as I caught that first one, I got fish brain. You can see the fish. They're not taking your bait. Get obsessed about it. It was windy the whole time. Uh, it, snow was coming and going. Uh, I wish I would have got better footage of what was going on out there because it's a warm spring. You could just see the steam coming up and blowing off the little lake there. Uh, no tilapia 
didn't I don't even know if I saw tilapia. I saw some little white fish and then I seen this weird little fish hiding up underneath the bank. It had big old knob on its head and orange face and I was like, "What is that? What is that?" And my buddy's like, "Oh, it's probably a goldfish." Doing more research on Blue Lake after I got home, which I should have done before we went out there. Uh, turns out they're cichlids. Blue Lakes is apparently sloppy with cichlids. So, I did see a cichlid. I did not catch a cichlid. I had corn on when I saw that one. And my experience with corn, even though they have legalized it, I have not even seen a fish take any interest in corn. So, I don't know what's supposed to be so magical about corn. I've not seen any results from it. What I was using was a treble hook and just wrapped a night crawler around there. That's what I caught those two little bass off of. But there was much bigger bass in there and they, they'd come look at my worm and they'd just be like, I'm not that stupid. In the fishing guide, it says Paku. Uh, if you don't know what Paku is, it is a piranha looking fish. But instead of having really sharp teeth, it's got like human looking teeth i don't know if they're out there i haven't seen any videos in my research after the fact to support the claim that there's any paku out there if there are paku anywhere in this state i would really love to catch one just one just i feel like that's like a really unusual fish that i would like to add to the record of fish that I have caught in my life. Church, it does seem like there was some smaller ponds around that we might have had better luck catching cichlids and tilapia in. Um, I did see one when we was on our way out, but uh, we were kind of beat by then. That wind just howling the whole time, getting all wind burnt. Uh, I don't know. I know I'll go back to Blue Lakes at some point, but it's not going to be anytime soon. It is a long drive. Uh, I don't see me ever doing it without spending a night in a casino. But we will. I will be getting back up to Willard Bay soon. Uh, if not, go somewhere else. I might uh, look at going down to Vernon here soon. Uh, if I get skunked at Vernon, and I have been skunked at Vernon a lot, especially ice fishing, but I usually do better shore fishing out at Vernon. But we'll see where we're going next. Uh, most likely back to Willard. I'm not okay with being skunked on that water. Uh, so that's the journey i hope you enjoyed it as much as we did it was exhausting for me but until next time keep your lines tight <laughs>